All right, this question is from Nicola, and she wrote, how can I get my belief back in my business to start doing things again and wow my clients? I have a daily battle to get dressed and do stuff currently. Feeling kind of desperate, I know I can help ladies get strong in mind and just need some belief. Well, that is a great question because I know a lot of us struggle to uh, find our voice and find that confidence to be able to share our uh, advice or struggles or, or instructions with, with other people. So if you are in a situation where you're either responsible for managing people or, or giving people directions and instructions, or if you're a business owner and you have clients that are um, looking to you for solutions, um, the biggest piece of advice I could give you would be what exactly are your clients looking for you to give them solutions to and are you walking that walk on your own or are you walking your own walk talking your own talk and this goes back to something I mentioned about being your own client first if I were to give you advice on um, dealing with the the sugar bitches that would mean I would hope that that would mean that I ha actually feel confident in my abilities to do the same thing and to follow my own advice and take my own advice. There's something about us as humans that hopefully you have this um, this dissonance if you speak about something that you don't actually preach yourself or that you preach about something that you don't actually follow yourself or if you're giving advice knowing that you're not following it yourself or, or feeling like a hypocrite. So. I've personally experienced in, in running my own business that I won't sell anything that I don't feel wholeheartedly about and that I don't feel like I can hold my head high and say that I actually practice this in my own life. And that's one of the reasons I've actually committed to sharing my struggles as well as my successes and, and achievements and, and things that I've overcome. But so the first question I would ask myself is where am I not walking my own walk? And chances are that you're going to find that where you don't have that full belief in yourself is going to be in that segment of your business. So if you're if you're teaching women about how to train daily and how to um, change their physique through resistance training, but you're not training right now, that is going to be a disconnect for you. Or what uh, the bitches would be dissonance would be the the main you know reason that they're showing up. Um, if you are trying to tell people never to eat um, you know chemicals and artificial ingredients but you're drinking diet coke and putting chemicals in your coffee you're probably gonna have a disconnect so I would just look for that gap and the, there's a couple of questions that I ask myself is a do I want to fill that gap personally because it might you might not be doing it because it's something it's not something that you actually believe in or that is you think is really important or there's a number of reasons so is that a gap that I actually want to fill in and um, if it's not, then maybe that's not something you should be selling and teaching and, and, and giving instructions and advice to other people. And then the other thing would be, where can I fill in the gap? Where am, can I go walk my own walk, become my own client first, and um, find the missing link and elevate it so that I do have belief in myself? What would give me full belief in myself to go teach this? Um, and then when you figure that out, you'll a know that you'll know the things the, the first things that you need to focus on or that you actually want to focus on, and then B you'll be able to actually share your struggles with your clients too because that's where you're going to find some of the biggest takeaways, the best advice, all those things, and they're it's going to be relatable, you know. So don't don't be afraid to to share your struggles and and show where maybe things weren't always so easy for you because um, the human side I believe is what really creates that connection. So um, hopefully that helps and it's just you know blanket overall answer would be walk in your own walk finding that gap if it's something that's really important to you go elevate or upgrade your life personally and then you'll I think you'll find that the confidence won't even be an issue it'll just naturally and organically come along with it so hope that helps